So guys, welcome back to my channel, Firewall Gan. In this video, we are going to talk about another question which we generally get during the checkpoint firewall technical interview. And the question is, what is stateful packet inspection firewall? Generally, this question you will get in any networking interview whether it's networking or network security, irrespective of any firewalls, 40 gate, Palo Alto, checkpoint, ASA, whichever firewall it is, or during any you know networking or network security interview, this question is very common. So what happens when we configure the packet filtering firewalls? Generally, when you're going to set up a policy in a packet filtering firewall, you need to have a two policy for the same thing. What that means, consider you want to allow a traffic from say source A to source B, having some services. In packet filtering firewall, for the same communication, you need to have a two roles. You need to have a two roles. One rule which allows the communication from your source to destination and the another rule which is allowing communication from your destination to source. That was what we need to configure when we you know, configure the rules in policy or packet filtering firewall. But in stateful packet inspection firewall, we need to have only one rule. One rule is for your communication between the source to destination and there is no need to allow the destination communication toward the source that is flexibility what we get from the stateful packet inspection firewall there is a one thing the another thing what the stateful packet inspection firewall do is that it capture all the state related information of your packet Consider what your packet contains. It contains source IP address, destination IP address, source port, destination port, protocol ports, you know, all those details. So these details generally get captured into your firewalls internet tables. In checkpoint firewall, we have say kernel tables. Uh, they also call it state tables. So all these details get captured into these state tables and whatever the subsequent connection or communication happens on that ips or details what we have captured into a state table that is allowed based on looking at this state table so here we don't require you know two different rules to have the communication for the same source to the destination so that is what the flexibility we get into the stateful packet inspection firewall uh checkpoint says they invented the this stateful packet inspection uh technology and uh, from there the other vendors also you know implementing the same thing let's understand few details in using a uh, example consider you have a checkpoint firewall and in checkpoint firewall the packet is you know arriving to your checkpoint firewall interface So basically the packet comes to your NIC and over there using the checkpoint firewall algorithm the checkpoint firewall checks those packet details for example the source IP address, destination IP address, source port, decision port, uh, protocol all those details and based on that it says whether the packet is new connection or new request or for any sort of connection or it's old packet which having all those details uh, existingly uh, stored into the firewall state table uh, if the packet is new then packet has to go to series of steps for example uh, first packet goes to verify the you know uh, firewall rules so packet matches against the rule if the rules match so then the log alerts you know that get process uh, then decision makes whether that packet need to be passed uh, to the you know end system and packet passed to the end system uh, if packet does not match to the rules then uh, 
say for example one rule is not matched then packet checks against the another rule if there is another rule who is allowing these packets if it is match over there uh, okay then same text the alerts and packet passing happens otherwise you know if that no don't no rule matches there the packet get dropped and if the packet is get dropped uh, there is uh, no negative acknowledgement sent back to the end user or whatever the from the uh, the packet is coming from but if the packet is rejected by the rule you have a rule stating that this packet needs to be dropped then negative acknowledgement sent to the you know source stating that the packet is dropped by the rule you know so all these things you know happens when we talk about uh, stateful packet inspection into the checkpoint firewall so guys i hope uh, this video you found informative and thanks for watching this video guys and have a wonderful day